Cancer, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the sign of Cancer. It is not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Cancer placement you resonate with. Some of the messages may also resonate with you. Personal reading information, any jewelry seen will be linked and listed in the description box. At the end, we will post some oracles, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. Otherwise, Cancer, here we go. Your first card out this week is the Eight of Pentacles. And I do only take jumpers, so I appreciate your patience in advance. So the Eight of Pentacles, very much busy at work. Busy working. You, there's something you've been working on. Some of you, it's your home. Some of you, it's creating stability. Whatever it is you've been working on, though, it's you're soon about to get to where, get to the finish line. This is very much like getting to the finish line. Something you've been working on, putting a lot of time and effort into. Energy could literally be work. Yeah, I told you. Crossing the finish line. First place. Star card energy, major arcana for Aquarius. So, things are about to speed up. Uh, 2024 is a eight year and the fact that an eight is your first card out very much tells me that you will be crossing whatever finish line proverbial or literal in 2024 we also have the four here <laughs> so i mean yeah get ready buckle up something about aquarius season could also be important to you some of you could be there's definitely wish fulfillment it will be different things some of you it, it's it's uh, work money stability some of you it's relationship some of you it's both you know, there's some sort of idealism, some dream that you have been working hard in, on creating, manifesting, bringing into your, your um, 3D reality. And it looks like 2024 is going to be the year for those of you who have been doing the work, obviously. If you haven't been doing the work or you're still bitter, probably not your reading. You now have two fours here. Um, Capricorn also got two fours. <clears throat> if you're dealing with a Capricorn, you maybe want to check that video out. We are all in Capricorn season, so it should be all watching whatever season we're in's video because we're all influenced by that season so everyone should be watching capricorn season um capricorn videos also the season of karma so absolutely whatever you have been reaping whatever you have been sowing you're about to reap bottom of the deck is the five of swords change some sort of change here definitely looks like it's like uh there's other people in your energy as well this is like two different complete energies there's uh, for those of you that have done the work, this is definitely your top, your energy here at the top. And this is someone else's energy that is just completely the polar opposite of what you're going through or what you're about to experience. Okay. I don't know who this is. All of your situations will be different. Lots of masculine energy here, though. And the seven of swords. Yeah, but we can see why. Automatically, look, seven of swords, five of swords. Nine of Pentacles, we can see why this person is on the bad side of karma. Because they ain't been doing right. Well, you've been working away here, diligently, being consistent, showing up. This is why you're getting the Four of Wands and the Star card, turning you into the Nine of Cups. Nine of, nine of uh, Pentacles, sorry. Someone that's very independent, someone's got all that you see, and progress, going from the Eight to the Nine. So, this is like two collectives in one. Half of the collective... Definitely have been doing the work. Maybe even up to eight years, between four and eight years have been on this journey. It's finally matching the vibration to their 5D, you know, desires or whatever. The other half of you, though, not so much. Still very much bitter. Still very much um, in a victim sort of mentality. Woe is me. Uh, not really opening up here. Haven't been doing the work with the Four of Pentacles. Or this could be someone else that you're dealing with, obviously. Very stressed out. Overthinking. A lot of anxiety. Um... Not playing fairly, not, not you know, doing things the right way with the Five of Swords, cutting corners, lying, cheating, stealing. And look, it's like very, very different energy. Wheel of Fortune. This is also speaking of a new year with that 10 energy. I am filming this on New Year's Eve. So tomorrow will be the new year. So this is very much, you know, very clear. Two different collectives here. Or this is you and someone else that you are dealing with. Someone that's close enough to you that they're showing up in your energy. For some of you, you know. But it's going to be very easy to see. So if someone, life, if someone around you's life starts to not fall apart, but not progress, digress, then you can already know that behind the scenes they're doing things they're not supposed to be doing. And they're being paid for it karmically. So if your friends and family, lovers, whoever, their life slowly starts to digress, don't ask no questions. Just know that Saturn came home and he's checking the list and, and 
making the list and checking it twice and that person didn't come up on the good list and whether you see it or not whether you know it or not whether you know what they're doing it's going to be very evident i think in general you know who's who's on the good list who's on the bad list because this is two very different energies off the bat the eight of pentacles is someone that is very um, determined consistent diligent you know doesn't stop until they get results and these are the results of this person's this is the, this is what this person has harvested four of wands the star card the star card and the wheel of fortune and the nine of cups and the four of wands moving forward yeah free will yeah mm -hmm. that's the thing about it everyone's look at all this major arcana too everyone's got free will that's what people don't realize you know it's never between us and anyone else it's always between everyone and god or the divine that's who makes the judgment on what we get, right? And while we can't see everything that people do, the divine can. So as much as they think they're hiding from you or you're hiding from them, it don't matter. Who matters? The, the people that matter, the, the, the energies that matter can see. So you're never going to get what you don't deserve as much as you might feel like you don't deserve it. But it's like weighing the heart against the feather, right? Like the Egyptians used to do when you pass over to the, path, to the, to the, to the afterlife. They weigh your heart against the feather. And if your heart weighs more than that feather, you ain't going nowhere. You're going to roam. High Priestess, Pisces Energy, Major Arcana, the Gemini Lover's Card, Major Arcana, Cancer, Chariot, Major Arcana with this as well. Like, this is like whoever, everyone's got free will. However you choose to use it is your business. But when karma hits you, do not complain. You know? Do not complain. You exercised your free will however you want. If you used your free will to be bitter, if you used your free will to be unforgiving, if you used your free will to hold um, grudge and envy or, you know, malice in your heart, you reap as such. You reap as such. And that's just plain and simple. More manifestation energy. So depends. So, uh, you know, the ships will be different. The ships that come in will be different for everybody. Some people got good ships coming in. Some people not so much. Let's get the oracles for you, Cancer. And showing up as your true self there at the bottom of the deck. Guidance for Cancer. If this is a romantic situation, please. Some of you might be finding someone you might be spending your life with. Looks like your money is going to be good. Like just a lot happening this year. As they say, one year can change your life completely, right? But it's not that. It's because you've been doing the work for a long time. But because the eight year is all about harvesting past life relationship, you've known each other before. Some sort of soulmate connection, healing family issues, your love life will benefit as you heal, as you forgive your parents. Yeah. So some of you have done the work, some of you haven't. Those that have healed, those that have forgiven themselves as well, not just others, but the forgiveness of yourself. You'll see. You'll see what side of the, the, the penny you're on. Guidance for Cancer, please. But definitely soulmate energy here. If you have not met someone yet, it's only a matter of time. Luck is on your side. That Wheel of Fortune is all about, uh, you know, luck and luck and fortune favoring the, the good hearted or whatever, right? Or you being on the up and up at least. Things might have been down, but they're about to be up. See how you're going from this all the way to that? Some of you might win the lotto become a public figure, be able to buy a house. Lizard spirit, dream the world into being number 38, which is an 11. So not only have 11, 11 here, you got 11, 11 here, you got 11 here, and you got star card energy, which is all about whatever your desires, honey. The universe is paying, pick what you want. Guidance, please. I can't say. Pick what you want, the world is your oyster. Whatever you want, darling. Whatever you want. Some people might get jealous too. They might not understand why you're being blessed so much, but that's okay. It's not for them to understand, right? They got to get right with, with, with their creator, whoever they deem as that. Step out of your comfort zone, North Node. Don't let pride get in your way, Full Moon and Leo. This could definitely be for someone else here. And expect powerful change. New Moon Eclipse. Expect powerful change. For cancer, please. But there's definitely people around you, whether you are aware of it or not, that do not mean you good. Priestess, how are you being called to step up and lead? I think we did see the high priestess too. And I think you might have had an intuitive uh, inkling, inc inclining that someone is not 
as good as they try to make it seem they are. They, they hide a lot of things behind. They do a lot of dirt behind the scenes. The Four of Pentacles tells me that. They keep a lot of things from you. Some of you, it's even money. Some of you, it's even money. Someone could have been stealing money from you, right? And it's like, maybe you're not speaking to this person anymore, especially with this high priestess here. And it's like, now you just hit the lick. You know, you hit the lick. Sucks. Now you have even more money. <laughs> and it's like, they know for sure they're not going to get done none this time. So that's what it is. That's why they say karma's a B.I. But I ain't going to diss karma that way because you get what you give. You get what you give. You give shit, you get shit. Look at that. As we're speaking of karma, <laughs> Saturn energy. Take a look around. You're lucky as shit. Remember that. So when things start happening good for you, count your blessings because you know how long it took you to redeem these gifts that you're about to get. You didn't make no quick deals. You did the work. You put the time in. Okay, and we also have this one. You've come so far, keep betting on yourself. Mm hmm But it's funny that this popped out. So, this is definitely like, which side of karma, which side of karma are you on? And whether you're honest with yourself or not, your life will, this year, will definitely tell you the truth. Some of you like, oh, I did good on karma. I did good. I, I, I've been pure three, three, three as I'm as, as I'm as I'm filming this. Three, three, three on the clock. Some of you might be seeing three, three, three a lot. But, anyways, that's your reading, Cancer. Hopefully, it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Do not forget to subscribe. I will see you guys next week. Happy New Year.